because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Yes, who's back? Yes, yes, yes. You see, I, I came in a le little less aggy this year. Now, let's get into a little bit of Hollywood on Fire, where we f where we are featuring tonight T.D. Jenkins and Puffy Daddy. Did y'all know T.D. Jenkins had a little bit of drama? You, you want to hear his shit? He got, he got drama. Things that they're trying to sweep under the rug. Let's go. So this is T.D. Jake's daughter, Cora. She is the one that kidnapped this woman's baby by saying, okay, well, I'm gonna let you get yourself together. She took the woman's baby and never wanted to give the baby back, took the woman to court and said that basically she was unfit. And this is the woman's name in the comment section, right? Cool. And this is her husband. Oh, he's in prison right now, baby. He molested this little girl which I don't want to show her face because she's a child, but he molested her multiple times. And I just find it weird how T.D. Jakes has never spoke up about it. I just find it so disgusting how y'all try to act so high and mighty and y'all thought that God was not going to expose you because you're playing fake. Oh baby, God, the real true God, do not like fake people. You cannot do things under God's name and claim to be of God and then you don't expect to get exposed. Baby, what? Especially when your daughter got pregnant at 15 and you tried to disrespect her in, in public. And y'all allowed the church to disrespect her in public. So this is T.D. Jake's daughter, Cora. Um, so they, they, and this, look at this, 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 you know, somebody tried to correct her like, shut up. Sis, we are Muslims and we are advised to stay away from gossip and backbiting about other people and leave that which does not concern you. Girl, bye. Thank you, Muslim sister. If you want to saw the truth, it does not matter. God say everything done under him will be exposed, especially if you're trying to be a disciple of him or you're, you're pretending to be. That right there was a whole lot of something sauce. I'm going to have a more special on T.D. Jenkins. More going to come out about him, allegedly. I just want to show you what come up on our timeline. So we're going to find out a little bit of my, about his daughter in this particular situation and the child that she had. And I will say, not saying that she did do this, but it's not unfarming for people to do this. People who want kids, they see that somebody's in a bad situation and that person's indecisive, but they need a little bit of help. Women will do that. But as a woman to woman, if you if you if that person is not abusive, not a killer, and you take care of their child under the guise that you're gonna give their child back, it is your duty as a woman in a human being to be honorable. I'm just gonna say that. But I have seen it done in the hood. I've done seen it done in in my area. So I don't know about other people, but let me know. This is something that I have witnessed more than once in poor um neighborhoods. Then we talk about you want to talk about husbands. Somebody already in jail. To have anyone at that capacity around your kids, around you, to have any tendencies to be sexually explicit towards children, even me, maybe I'm just a I'm just a cornball. Y'all already know 2024, I'm going in being abstinent on year eight. Okay. You saw the wrinkles crack, kid. I'm over here squeezing the thing eight, eight years, but I'm good. With that goes to say, I kind of look at that sex more um, conventional, you know. So it's certain things that you will do and explore for with your partner. But if it get too out of pocket and they didn't want to deal with the right area and other things like that a little bit too much you better think about it woman you better ask what that person been exposed to what they like do not not pay attention to um jokes or things that they say and, and they be like they're playing don't be naive maybe that's the reason why i'm single because i'd be like what you say 
Nah, I was just playing. Nah, you wasn't motherfucker. I don't even trust you no more. I was just playing. Nah, I don't trust you. You suspect. And I re they be like, you really don't trust me? Nah, I don't trust you. I I I I love you. You're a good person, but I don't trust your motherfucker. You you're a good person. You see my hand for right there, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Treat you how you behave. Now let's get a little bit into Mace exposed deep ditty creepy, Pastor T.D. Jenks and their ritual parties. Okay, this is all allegedly. This is allegedly, 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 because I'm still on YouTube. Allegedly. Okay. You to behave. Keep me in your algorithm. Someone please hit the like button. If you like what I share, if you like my algorithm, if you like how I put things together, how I predict things, you know how we do, baby. Grace Levi in the building. For years, these guys have organized a mass organized effort to slander my name behind the scenes. Look at the hand gesture. Look at how TD Jakes is standing. Y'all know that stand. I gotta give a special thank you to the people that was really like there for me. Bishop T.D. Jakes. Wait, shout out to old Clover. This is an upcoming profile. I don't know if they bots. I'm keeping my eyes on old Clover, but some of the stuff they be posting be on point. So let's watch it. Mace just dropped a bombshell about the controversial preacher and Diddy's longtime friend, T.D. Jakes. And rumor has it that Pastor Jakes has been attending a lot of freak-offs at Diddy's parties. Rumors about T.D. Jakes being everything but a man of God have been circulating for a long time. However, some new details surfaced recently about him and Diddy being part of a secret club where freak-offs are just the tip of the iceberg. So what did Mace reveal about T.D. Jakes and what exactly did Jakes do at Diddy's parties? Let's get into it. And I want to tell you why, you know, if the devil can use him aggressively, then I want you to know God can use me aggressively. It looks like Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy could be the unraveling of the industry. And if Diddy gets criminally prosecuted, there's a long list of people he could drag down with him. And one of them is his longtime friend and spiritual mentor, T.D. Jakes. Now, if you don't know who T.D. Jakes is, he's one of those prosperity preachers who claims Jesus is rich and God wants us to accumulate as much wealth as possible. But you'll never catch T.D. Jakes doing what Jesus did and spending time with the poor and the downtrodden. Instead, Bishop Jakes prefers to keep the company of presidents, celebrities, and billionaires. And hands down, his favorite celebrity to hang out with is Diddy. So much so that rumors have been circulating for years that these two are more than friends. Speculations about T.D. Jakes being on the DL have been around for a long time, and they reached a fever pitch back in 2009, after his son, Jermaine Jakes, was arrested for openly soliciting gay sex from an undercover vice detective in a public... Wait. Park, just a few blocks from his father's mega church. Wait, 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 wait! It's getting hot. Did Did you hear that? Let me let it play. I just had the okay. The Potter's house in Dallas, Texas. Now, as for Diddy and T.D. Jakes' friendship, it goes back years, and Diddy even enlisted Jakes to officiate the funeral of his ex, Kim Porter. When Kim died, Pastor Jakes shared her photo on his Instagram, and in the caption, he talked about the love Diddy had for Kim. He wrote, Though you may grieve her absence, realize that many people never had such love in all of their lives. You are blessed to have someone to miss. So it looks like T.D. Jakes thinks love means controlling, beating. I was just about to say that. She said it because nobody want that damn love. I, I promise you, rest in peace to Kim Porter, but she went through it. Nobody wants that. And, and that's why they allow Chris Shine and Blueface to trend because they want to program you into believing that that's okay so they could create a whole bunch of puffies, allegedly and breaking your girlfriend's nose because that's exactly how Diddy treated Kim, allegedly. Kim was going through the same thing. The beatings, that's Kim book. Then you hear about the fact that he, he broke Kim's nose on a yacht? But despite Diddy's reputation as one of the most depraved men in the industry, T.D. Jakes never missed an invitation to one of Diddy's infamous parties. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! That music playing in the background, y'all. I gotta mute this right here. When Jaguar Wright was asked why she thinks T.D. Jakes is always at Diddy's parties, she had this to say. I, I but for him to be at a Diddy party? I don't know. Like, 
I feel the same way about that as I feel about when Tyler Perry came to his church and laid hands on him and he caught the Holy Spirit from Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry is the bishop of what? <laughs> like, I've never, like. Wait, we just put out that video, which was a flashback, questioning, was Tyler Perry the alleged biggest? Solicitor in Atlanta, allegedly. You see how all of this is coming together? Please like and subscribe and join the family so you can expand your horizons because we don't have no ties to none of them. We just watch everything and everybody and just put it together and be like, wait, look at that. The body is making the devil. It's making the devil. And I cut a check for a hundred. I'm gonna lay my hands on your bishop. And he said, the ah, ah. And then the bitch is said, it's on the internet. He's ah, he doing all of this, right? And then there's a woman on on the on the dais, screaming, push the baby out, birth that baby, push the. I'm like, what? are we a church? Or is this about to turn into like a whole nother scene, like a lost scene from Eyes Wide Shut? And Jaguar wasn't lying about that Tyler Perry situation. Back in 2013, T.D. Jakes received a prayer from Tyler in a ceremony that really did look like something from Eyes Wide Shut. And this happened shortly after Jakes also received a check of $1 million from Perry. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now, keep you in his hair. God, I thank you for your blessings. I didn't know we was going to be exposing Tyler Perry allegedly, too. I got to just add that. Yeah. Oh, He's God. pushing that baby out. Oh, Come on, he's pushing that. The Holy Ghost, I'm not making fun of you. I'm making fun of TDJs, okay? Have you ever been swallowed up? Baby up. Somebody holler, push. Now, going back to Diddy and T.D. Jakes, back in July 2021, they announced they were teaming up to bring Jakes' sermons to Diddy's cable TV network, Revolt. They shared the news during a call, and Diddy talked about how Jakes helped him overcome a dark period in his life. I was going through a dark period of my life, you know? I just lost everything, you know what I'm saying? Girlfriend, mother, my children passed. My best friend, Andre Harrell, passed. A lot of things that just really was taking my mind and my soul just, I was just in a dark place. And I'm going to stop right there because this is going to be part of our Puffy series because I have some other good stuff to share with you in regards to Puffy. I don't want to even show all of that. Shout out to old Clover, but I just want to put this back on because we showed this the last time. And this is the reason why Chris Brown is over here smiling and shit. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you ever been swallowed up? Swallowed up? Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? And the reason why I'm going to keep playing this because something that I came across in regards to Chris Brown was that specifically he was blackballed for allegedly reacting to being given an STD by someone famous. We showed the clip. It was allegedly is on Rumble, is on Big Chew, somebody who he was with, and they didn't like the way he reacted, and they blackballed his ass. And he's been fighting his whole time to keep his career alive and still been able to be a, make someone else a millionaire. So shout out to Chris Brown while he wasn't swallowed up. How about that? God made him go through all of that. And right now, I think Chris Brown is smiling. Just a little bit. Just a, a love. A little bit. Uh -huh, that's what I, Just a little bit. Okay.